everybody and welcome back to another video and to an intro that I'm desperately trying to film as it goes dark around me so uh, sorry if the quality is not great I am rushing around but we are going eventing tomorrow and it's been a while since I've last said that obviously you guys have probably watched the car crash for vlog that was my last event vlog which was the open eventing championships and if you watched it all the way through you will know had a bit of a confidence knock picked up a 20 pounds on Ashley because of my defensive riding he was a saint to take me around that course there you go, you're up to speed. So we made the hopefully very sensible decision to step down to 100. We're heading to more tomorrow for what's going to be my last event of the season because I moved to university in under a week, which is scary. I have about a million vlogs on the go at the moment. I have like my, my university prep vlog and all sorts. So yeah, quite busy, quite busy, but obviously had to vlog this because hopefully this is going to be a good and positive event so just packing the lorry now we actually have really nice afternoon times tomorrow but for some reason we just assumed we'd have early ones so i have walked the course anyway so i shall pop in a little course walk video now Perks of doing the 100, I don't have to jump my dreaded fear fence, the gate, so that's a bonus. This loo is the most random place, because it was literally jumps there. Like, you just go for a pee and open the door and there's a horse galloping past you, so hopefully they're going to leave that. Mum's just reminded me of my near miss at that fence last year on Star. Course all walked. It's nice, it's a lot shorter, a lot more straightforward than some of the courses I've been walking recently, obviously, so I have absolutely no reason to be nervous. Let's see if I actually am or not. So there you go, there's the cause. I think it looks pretty nice. Obviously it's got to be a massive confidence boost that I've jumped around the Bee Novice and what more four times between Ashley and Star and actually never done the 100 there. So to walk the 100 feels pretty good. Don't think there's any major questions on course. Obviously there's still some combinations that definitely need to be respected, but we're just going to have a good confidence giving final run of the season. I cannot believe I'm saying that. Final run of the season and the fact that I'm filming at literally not even seven o'clock, maybe seven o'clock about, and it's literally getting dark. That's not allowed. Where has summer gone? But yeah, nice afternoon times tomorrow. And also we're HC. Because Ashley has points for going double clear at Novice, we couldn't enter any of the sections other than the open and the open runs on the Saturday. And we're busy. I'm literally heading off to uni in a couple of days time. So we're on the Friday. So we're going HC, which is also quite nice. It basically means that we can enter and we'll still be scored, but we wouldn't be able to place. So even if I did a sub 30 dressage, not gonna happen <laughs> we wouldn't be able to place no pressure on us we're really just going to have fun so that is the plan gonna pack the lorry now probably won't show much to you because it's literally going dark and you've seen it a million times but i'll probably join with you tomorrow flatting atty maybe because main is such a mess just printing off my number what are you just doing i was just watching a vlog of someone that's great oh that's great <laughs> Was it good? Yeah, it was. It was her, it was her poles. Oh, that's great. And grid work. Okay. It was as... a drone from the park. It was really interesting. <laughs> well, it, it'd be just fun to join. I could do that too. Anyway, as I was saying, just printing off my numbers because I quite often forget to do that, but not today. Good morning. We're getting eventing today. Right, in the car. About to head up to the yard. Feeling a bit rough, looking a bit rough. Don't really know why, because it is like half eight. It's very sociable hours for eventing. And in that classic horsey girl paradox of probably should have washed my hair last night, but couldn't bring myself to do it. So I'm gonna be putting on a hat and cantering around for minutes and it's just gonna get all sweaty again. So yeah, ignore me. Let's go to the yard. Where is he? Where are you? Oh, hello. 
You're gonna get you all plastered up. You're getting a venting today. Ooh. Don't look too excited. Jumping. Dressage. There is a really good chance that this might be the last time I plant at you this year and I can't tell you how happy I am about that. My arms are killing me. The sun has come out. What a beautiful day. You can't really ask for much more than that when it comes to September eventing. Mum has just turned up in the lorry, so we can get ready to get us loaded. Confirming that I have indeed remembered my tack, and we've got the best life set up for for jumping in Treehouse for dressage. actually ended up taking so much longer to get here than it did yesterday coming from the yard so may not be that much of a as i get actually ready i'm gonna get them out do studs tack them up and see how much time we got you excited you excited i'm quite excited which is good let's make it 20 minutes i want to be on uh the treehouse one for dressage is with the dressage saddle conveniently that Dressage. Okay, so turns out that's not a dressage saddle. I didn't unfold it, I just uh, looked and obviously picked up the wrong one. So we have sometimes, oh, I can't quite feel like, sometimes with despair in my lovely tidy tack bag that was very kindly gifted. It feels like there's something in there. It's just, is it going to be dressage or is it going to be jumping? This could be a difference between whether mum has to go at me or not, so please be dressed up. It's pink. Pardon? Yeah. I don't think we have a dress up here in here. Oh, I do. Oh, dear. Uh oh. Wish I could say I was finally over you, but that's not the truth. Mm -hmm. Everyone always keep falling in love again. Okay. In case the dress needed any more of a reminder that they're not very good dressers, I am going to be pouring my test in a dressing number. So, uh, yeah, that's a bit embarrassing.
had an option to be someone else, I would. And like all of you, mm -mm. I know that I'm obvious, fuck it, I made this way. But why didn't I stay when I had the chance? Maybe it will pass by, someone save me for a pass out. I'm too lonely to be done in my drink at this pace. We came, we saw, but we definitely did not conquer Ashley's spaces at all. That wasn't our best test. <laughs> yeah, not our finest test. Ashley was pretty lethargic from the start. We gave him only a really, really short warm up. We had the option to go early and we took it because he just wasn't, as much as I was revving him up, he wasn't really responding. Went in there and he was completely dead to my leg, weren't you? Yeah. And now he's perked up. Now we're back at the lorry, or maybe now he's seen the jumping. But um, no, not a great effort at all, which is a shame because it was an easier test and actually one of my favourite tests. So I can love that B100 test. So that shouldn't have been difficult. But it obviously was. But we're not going to be too hard on ourselves. We're HC. It doesn't really matter. There's no placing on the line. Scores on the doors 34.5, which we have both agreed for the test. It's, you know, it's not harsh, is it? It's, the test wasn't great. So we'll take 34. We'll be happy with it and we'll smile, um, but obviously we both feel there's a better test in there somewhere. Time for a coke break and uh, learning the show jumping course. It's on to your favourite part now. Your jumpies. Jumpies. Look who's coming over. So after the victim vlog, I got a lovely comment from somebody who wanted to see some more Dan footage. So. Here we go, have a nice little shot of him walking. Just giving your fans what they want, Dan. They wanted more Dan footage. Oh, perfect. Hello. Hello. This is more Dan footage. Have you got any words for the vlog? Um, good luck, Atty. <laughs> and play. <laughs> Lots of luck needed. The Carter now, she rides her own all when done. This is an HC round number three and six knot. We are all systems go after I let Ashley down a little bit in the show jumping. But the main thing was we actually had really good fun. Like I really enjoyed it, even if I did plow him into the bottom of the fence and he helped me out. But anyway, Dan is taking the plats out. We'll see how long that takes him. Hold on to the plashing bands, Dan, rather than dropping them so he doesn't like eat in the grass. Oh, he knows, he knows. And mum is putting on his country boots and I am going to go and get changed. Yeah, I'm going to sit down and have a nice glass of pins. No, I'm joking. I'm getting changed. Okay, dokie, my phone is so precariously balanced. If it falls, it's going to fall out of the lorry. It's literally like balanced on the open window, but I'm just uh, getting myself cross country ready. I should squat down so you can see me just tucking in my uh, cross country colours. Sorry, I'm literally cut off the head, but it's probably good because I literally look so sweaty. Um, anyway, 
I was coming on here to do something more than just waffle. I was coming on here to assert my positive mental attitude ahead of cross country. I'm actually enjoying myself so far. Like, although I've made a couple of like silly little slip ups in the show jumping, I feel kind of confident that, what is that? Um, yeah, I'm enjoying myself, I'm having fun. So long may that continue into the cross country. Okay, so we're down at the start box, we're warming up, there's about, great angle, there's about 20 people, and there's about 20 people whose names are down on the list before me, so we're going to be here a while, which is fun, my nerves are a bit good. Done. We've got the, the team, mums are grazing and texting. Dan's standing there doing nothing. No, I'm joking, Dan's just been very helpful taking off the cool boots. Yeah, so pleased with that. It wasn't perfect, but it was so much better and I actually enjoyed myself and I'll debrief properly later. I'm filming this outro from my university room. I'm all moved in and I've been here a month and I know this is probably the first time you're seeing it. I might save some of that for another time. Don't you worry, the move into University of the Horses has all been documented and it will all be up very, very soon. As you can probably tell, I'm very, very far behind in terms of editing because this, this vlog is from over a month ago and I've just been busy settling into uni life, working hard, moving the horses up here, making friends. And so obviously making videos and getting them out has taken a little bit of a back seat, but hopefully now things will start to get a little bit more back to normal. Anyway, I won't say too much about uni life because I've got vlogs on that coming. Let's wrap up this one very, very quickly because yeah, like I said, managed to forget to film an outro, which was poor, poor practice. So I'm doing it now and I won't spend too long on it because I feel like we've kind of been over most of the main parts in this vlog. I've kept you quite updated on paper, perhaps not the best day. Dressage wasn't exactly where I wanted it. I didn't feel that Atty was really in the right headspace. Potentially neither was I. It should have been a nice easy test. It didn't look that great, but it's okay. Show jumping, I did not ride the best I've ever ridden. That is for sure. But again, I came out and I was enjoying it. As you guys know, this was all about getting my confidence back. That was the sole aim, just to feel good and end the season on a high. And after how bad I felt after the Pony Club event and championships, I really wasn't sure that was gonna be possible. So 
to be looking forward to the cross country to have had a good ride a good clear round inside the time and actually have enjoyed it and like wanted more is exactly where I wanted to be so in some ways I couldn't really have asked for any more so yeah I'm going to call that a win we've ended the season on a on a positive note and what a season it has been there have been some really epic highs like doing my first two star and uh, obviously some lows but that's okay that's life and I'm really looking forward to practicing and developing and really just continuing like getting that confidence back I think it's pretty much back but just making sure it is over the winter, no pressure, go to some show jumping and dressage and arena eventing. I cannot wait to tell you in another vlog about how incredible the facilities near me are now that I'm based up here in Loughborough. But yeah, I'm not going to waffle on too much about uni life because I could. I definitely could. I have a lot to say, but it will all come out over the next few weeks as I start filming more vlogs here. So I'm going to leave it there. Thank you very much for watching the final event of the eventing season and i will see you very very soon with something else if you did like this video be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe and maybe leave a comment below bye